Hey guys, how we doing? In this video, I'm going to take this sequence pillow and we're going to flip the sequence and we are going to sublimate a design of a mermaid. So guys, stay tuned and watch me make this. Hey guys, how we doing? So today... I have this image that I printed out from the internet and I end up sizing it at 14 by 14 and I have this sequence pillow. It comes with its own insert which is cool so you don't have to go buy another pillowcase. So I'm going to put the insert to the side. Then here goes our sequence pillow. Now guys, these things are freaking cute. And the best part about it, when you flip them over to the silver side, The rainbow turns silver. And the best part about this is that you can sublimate on that. So, sequences are 100% polyester. So, today's video, we are going to take this image. Which I have to put it together. And we are going to sublimate this mermaid pillow. Or the rainbow pillow. But to me, it looks like a mermaid pillow. So... What I ended up doing was, I have two different sublimation papers. One is a Milton ham, ham, Hammer Milt, Hammer Milt 13 by 19 copy paper. And then the A sub paper. Now, they say there's not a difference, but I'm going to tell you. Look at the difference in that print, how vibrant it is. And then look at the print on this image, which is not that vibrant. So I just tested it out to see which one would come better. And I am going to use the A sub paper. So I'm going to make sure that all of my sequences are laid down because you only want to sublimate on the silver side. I really don't have to go that far up because the image is 14 and this pillow is a 16. So I'm going to have one inch on each edges that it's not going to be sublimated and it's going to be acting sort of like a border. So now I'm going to put my pillowcase on the side and I'm going to bring my papers in and I'm going to piece my papers together. So what I want to do, I want to cut one edge of the pattern, making sure that you cut all the white because you don't want to have no white. Okay, so now let's see if we can tape this straight. So now that I got my pieces lined up, I just put a paperweight to hold it in place. I'm going to get my heat tape. And I want to get the edges of this. And you want to go and line up the rest. Okay, so now that you got the two edges, now... I want to flip this over and 
and I want to tape the back side. And there goes our image. This look good. It looks like one piece. Now, I'm going to cut this edge off because I don't need it. And now we're going to go to the heat press. And we're going to press this on our sequence pillow. Let's go. Okay, so I'm at my heat press, and I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put it at 400 degrees, and it's going to be 60 seconds because we are sublimating. Now, you need to make sure that all of your sequences are on the silver side. Now, don't let this fool you because a lot of the reflection from the other uh, sequences that are color underneath it looks like you didn't turn nothing over but you actually did and now this is a 16 by 16 and my sublimation paper it is a 14 by 14 so I'm gonna have a one inch border going all the way around okay so here goes my image don't she look adorable? Oh my gosh, guys. She is so stinking cute. And now I want to place my design in the middle. And I have a one inch ruler. So I'm just going to make sure that everything's about one inch apart. This just needs to go slide up. Okay, so now that I got it all even going around, I want to put some heat tape just to hold it in place to be secure. Okay, so now that I got my image or tape down, I want to get a piece of butcher paper. And we're going to put it over top. And now we are going to press this for 60 seconds. So we'll see how it looks. Okay, guys, it's all done. Now I'm going to take you over to my table. And we're going to see how this sublimated. It looks really good on the outside, like it's sublimated really good. So we're going to see. Let's go. Okay, guys, so I'm super excited about this. We're going to see how everything is going to look. So now we are going to see how this all came out. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> it looks so pretty, guys. Okay, so there goes the image. It's sublimated. And it took a lot of color off, but I still see a lot of color too. But. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my God, do you see that? Do you see how pretty that is? Now let's put the insert in. Oh my God, that came out so good. And then the silver trim around it. And if you want, you could just go around and lift up the purple. I mean, guys, you could really take your time and arrange this. But look at how cool. Let me bring you guys back. Okay. Oh my God, it came out so good. Guys, the camera's really not even picking it up. You know, sometimes cameras are good, but sometimes they're not all good because a lot of times it does not show. It's like when I make bling shirts, it does not show the bling. Let's get our little pillow for them. There you go, guys. Do you see it? Now, it's multicolor like that because of the image. Because remember, the sequences are silver. So now, let's put the pillow form in. And this pillow is really nice. The material on the outside, the back end is sort of like a sway. Okay, so now let's zip this up. Okay, guys, so there goes my sequence sublimation pillow. This came out awesome, guys. Wow, wow, wow. I am super excited about this because it's been a while since I did one of these pillows. And I always forget the outcome, how beautiful it is. So, guys... And if there's going to be days that you don't want this image to show, all you have to do, guys, is flip it up. And then... You have a rainbow pillow. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed my project. I enjoyed it so much. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. But, um... And I get excited because a lot of times when I do projects, they always don't always come out right. And, um... But when they do, I got a big smile on my face. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye now. Smooches. Oh, Guys, if you like this video, please, I appreciate if you would tap on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Never know what I do. So until next time, have a good one. Bye now.
So, I got an idea. Let's do another pillow. Hold on. I end up putting this image together, and this is the image that is due with the copy paper. So, I have this yellow velvet 100% sublimation pillowcase. And I'm going to sub this on here real quick, and I'll be back with the results. Okay, guys. So, I sublimated with that copy paper, and... It did not do a bad job. It really did not do a bad job. When you printed it out, it looked it really like subtle, like really light, like it wasn't going to be vibrant. But um, overall, that is such a pretty, pretty picture. So guys... There goes my pillows for today. I really hope you guys enjoy. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.